And so now you guys are all probably wondering and dying to know, who did we pick for the winner of season two, episode two? Who's the winner? Chicken dinner? Annie Yang. Woo! Annie Woo! Wow. Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to episode four of season two of Young Guns. This is the packaging design challenge. So here's the challenge. I want you to go to a store that sells ethnic foods. Now, that definition depends on where you're from. So if you're in the United States, the mainstream food would be what you find at a Safeway or supermarket at a Vons. What you wanna do is go down the aisle where they sell Mexican food or Asian food, sometimes labeled as Oriental, even though that term is quite offensive. And then pick one product to redesign the entire package for. Now here are some requirements for this. You can change everything about it except for two things. You cannot change the logo, resist the temptation, that will disqualify you. And two, you can't change the colors. You have to be true to the brand colors. You can change typefaces, colors, materials, and finishes. Everything else is fair game. Now here's what I'm gonna judge it on. Will this appeal to a higher end and mainstream audience? Does it have appetite appeal? Will it stand out on the shelf amongst the myriad of options that you have? Does it show off the product features and any benefits? And is it appropriate? I encourage you to incorporate original illustration and photography in your design. What's interesting is if you participate in this design challenge, I want you to be more cognizant of how you're making decisions, purchasing decisions based on perception of value. So when you're walking around and you're looking at different shampoos or food products, look at what you associate with certain colors, materials, and the way that it's designed, and then look at the price. First ask yourself which one is more expensive, and then check the price to see if those two are in alignment. Chances are they usually are. Like all design challenges, you should be looking at who the intended user, the buyer of this product, and where the product itself, its brand attributes, and its positioning. Where those two overlap is the sweet spot. Now, if you're new to the market space and you're looking to attract a very specific buyer, try to look at the world through their eyes, walk in their shoes. What's their POV look like? What do they surround themselves with? and then design something, the product and the packaging, and then position it so that they see this reflects my values. Because remember, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. This being the first design challenge for the Young Guns, I have no expectations. I'm curious what each person brings to the table without any coaching from me, just to see what they think of, how they design, how they work. I think, the young guns are gonna learn a little bit about how challenging balancing life and work is to add an additional assignment on top of the work that they're already doing either in school or at work and how complicated some of these assignments can be. I wanted to test them, throw them off the deep end of the pool and see how they react. From here, I can gauge where the rest of the season needs to go. I wonder if they're up for it. Are you ready? Design challenge starts now. white basmati rice and uh, the reason I picked it is first of all it's a very easy packaging to work with it's a carton box it's very easy to walk up and just a good a good material to work with and there is a Taj Mahal in the background which I think is their idea of how to incorporate the Indian culture into the packaging and I think it can be done in a much better way so I think the challenges will be to basically for me personally to create packaging because I don't usually work with packaging I haven't done it since I went to school and I had a class so um, and the main challenge is to do something that will be both exotic it will keep that feel of uh, exotic product but also will be I think will fit to mainstream uh, supermarkets so that you know a person who might not be so interested in exotic stuff will still pick it I, I use photography in my design work but I never had to make it look tasty. So that's new for me. I want to see how that goes. The product that I've chosen is Valbona Italian sauce. So I chose the sauce for its minimalistic straight to the point design, which in my opinion is the main reason why shelf presence is so distinct in comparison with other brands that use extensive imagery and a lot of color. From the packaging itself, you can see that it is very important to have an Italian connection, which I believe I can make more efficient. One more thing that really, really bothered me when I was looking at the 
package in the store is that it uses two labels. The first one, the primary one that carries the main design and the second one that has caloric values in the back. However, caloric values are also displayed on the side right here and we have repetitive information about address and whatever government is requiring on the other side of the main label. I don't know why this was what they chose, but I definitely am going to be fixing this. So initially I'm super excited to work with ethnic food. I think it'll be really cool to create a package design based on another culture. I'm a little bit nervous because I know my portfolio review was kind of a bust, so I feel a lot of pressure to really show up for this challenge. And I think overall it'll go pretty well. I'm a little bit nervous about um, capturing the creative process. I haven't ever really done a good job about remembering to record or take photos during my process. So that's something that's super new to me, as well as being on camera. I think one thing that'll be challenging is dealing with another language. I've never had to design in another language before, so I think that'll be really interesting. The package that I've chosen is for Japanese green tea. It has a lot of elements on it, which makes it a lot crowded. So my job is going to be to make it as minimalistic as possible. This assignment is going to be a challenge for me. I'm not sure where I should start, which references should I look onto, and how I should design my product. I am more of an illustration person, so packaging layouts is something that is very tricky for me. This is the product that I will be redesigning. It's called White Rabbit Creamy Candy. I think the most challenging part of this project is going to be time. This time I made a super thorough and organized plan. So for the next two weeks, I'm hopefully going to be strict on myself and stick to it. I feel prepared more than usual because I have a personal connection with this brand. Um, but hopefully that will not serve as a crutch during my creative process. So I'll have to make sure that I do outside research and not just base off my knowledge what the brand is or what I assume it to be. Before going into the store, I had never heard of this before, I had never seen it, never tried it. But I went in looking for a product that I would easily be able to identify some problems with. A product that I like, or like in instinctively knew like a few solutions to the problem the product had. Right? Okay, so I found this and the big thing um, was that it was kind of lost in the shelf. Aside from the fact that there was a lot of it on the shelf, there wasn't really anything that would make me look at it on the shelves. So in a nutshell, I'm going to try and make this more attractive like on the shelf. That's the first thing. And also make it easier to understand exactly what the product is just by looking at it. Before I go to the store and look for the ethnic product that I am going to choose for this packaging challenge, um, I want to talk a little bit about um, my criteria for the product that I'm looking for. Um, sustainability and an awareness to our environment and our impact on the environment is super important to me and I want that to be really important to everyone which is why I'm talking about it. I'm looking for packaging that has the least amount of one-use plastic as possible, preferably glass, paper or cardboard, and maybe even plant-based plastic that is biodegradable. Okay, I am back from the store. Here's the big reveal. I have chosen Bragg's apple cider vinegar as my ethnic product. It's imported from California, from the United States. So um, as far as like carbon footprint of the transportation goes, it's relatively low. And packaging, it really hits all the marks. 
Another plus to the Bragg's packaging is that it's yellow and red, black and white. Um, yellow and red are colors that in terms of color theory, uh, bring forth a lot of appetite. So if you look at the branding of McDonald's, Burger King, or even Heinz ketchup, you'll see that yellow and red are used for somewhat commercial um, products that are tr are trying to get the consumer to get hungry. Also, I'm pretty sure that the original reason why the original label wrapped all the way around the bottle was because the original packaging is really heavy on text. So I'm gonna be editing down the text to what I think is really the most important elements. But wait, I have one more surprise in store for you. I'm going to bring back three people from Young Gun Season 1 to compete with the women from Season 2. I'm wondering if, through the coaching that they've received, if they're going to fare any better than they would have if they hadn't had any coaching. Let's see what happens. I went to a Asian supermarket in London uh, a couple of weeks ago and I found this can of mango nectar. I chose it because when we were in the store, this stood out completely because almost every other drink in the store was heavily branded, loads of packaging um, elements, loads of really bright type, loads of blown out illustrations, and that one was ridiculously simplistic. But fortunately, there are very few design elements here to actually work with. So it gives me much more room to play around with different colors and illustration maybe. And we can take away all the unnecessary information and really strip this back. I'm literally spending two days doing this. That's all the time that I have to do it. So this is like dawn of the first day, get the recording done, and we're gonna go straight into making that design going to be a really intense process either way and yeah I'm excited to get started. The product I chose is a microwavable dish called uh, bibimbap. It's a Korean dish and I picked it because the logo and the colors were really strong but I felt that the overall design could be vastly improved so I felt like it had a lot of potential. Some challenges that I might have to address in this project are uh, one, the kind of multilingual aspect of it. Uh, I have to typeset in Korean, which is a language I'm unfamiliar with. Um, secondly, the target audience is, you know, kind of culturally something I'm, I'm not too uh, familiar with. So that's going to be pretty hard to cater to. And lastly, I, I think that the fact that the packaging only has two sides to it means that the front panel kind of has to communicate a lot of things on a single panel. So I know that this design is definitely going to be a challenge, but I am uh, quite confident that I can kind of pull through and um, you know come out with a really strong design in the end. So what I picked is um, this. It, it, it's called uh, feta cheese, a Greek feta cheese. Uh, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Feta or feta, I don't know. It's a traditional Greek cheese. Uh, and the reason why I picked this was because I also wanted to pick something which simple to redesign because I didn't want some to pick something which was very ambitious and uh, you know I would kind of box myself considering that I don't really have a lot of time right now. So I picked this and. Uh, this is just one label right now here. My main, my main, you can say goal would be to design it as like a very fancy imported product for Indian audience. When I looked at the packaging and I felt this is a traditional Greek cheese, I kind of immediately had an idea like I really want to bring out the Greek part a lot, make it feel like, you know, you're really tasting something or you're really consuming something which has come directly from Greek mountains or like Olympus or something you know something like that. I just want to give a shout out to Sony who sent us a bunch of cameras so that the quality of the videos that we're going to be producing are going to be amazing. Thank you Sony. What's up everybody welcome to another episode of Young Guns Season 2. On today's episode we're going to be reviewing the packaging designs that our designers completed. So first up, 